Good morning. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, good. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? Sorry, that took me a second. I was panicking. I'm like, I can't find the invite. How do I get on, on stage? <laughs> um, you got your coffee? You're ready to rock? I do, I do have my coffee, yeah. I went, you, I, I went to dinner last night morning? with my wife. I, um, an espresso pod, but I went to dinner last night, and then I had what what some people commonly refer to as tequila. Oh, gotcha. I can was, hear it in your voice a little bit. It was, deli- it was delicious. I feel a little like a sailor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, good. It's good to see a bunch of people here. That's nice. I was a yeah, little worried it would just be you and me and Christ is just hanging out. But yeah, having like coffee. Some people. Well, he's at his kid's soccer game, but he is going to jump up on stage real quick and say hi. Um, okay. So forgive any noise if you guys hear whistles blowing in the background and whatnot. Um, cool. Let's go through just like the updates for the week. Then we'll bring him up and then we'll do a Q&A, which again, if we could just keep it to uh, Midnight Movie Club questions and NFT questions in general, we would really appreciate it. Um, all right. So let's start with, uh, I guess, the big announcement this week uh, is the Sneaky Vamp Syndicate uh, invited us to come on their spaces this week. So that is very exciting for us. So you guys got to check it out. Uh, Twitter spaces is basically just this what we're doing right now on Twitter. Um, so we're going to talk with the team over there. We're going to, you guys, you guys can learn about their project, which is awesome. I've been it since day one and uh, their people are going to learn about our project. So hopefully we'll bring more vamps over. Um, that is going to be on Thursday. What was it? Uh, 4 PM Eastern, which is 1 PM Pacific. We'll put a whole announcement up so you guys can uh, make sure that you're aware of that. If anything changes, we'll, we'll let everybody know in time. Uh, what else? Uh, this That's is- super cool. I mean, just to go on a little further about that, like oh, yeah. if you're new to the space, our goal, right, is to get to a place where we can mint, which is we create our NFTs and then bring it to market. And so the idea is that we want to collect as many people as we can in the space and um, get to minting so that we can get to making movies. So, and what's been great is that their support has been huge. Obviously you see a bunch of uh, vamps today, this morning in our chat. Um, and they've just been, I don't know, if, if you've dealt with any of the vamps in the chat, they're super cool, they're very, um, they're effusive in their, their help. Uh, and so, you know, they're, they're, this is a big moment for us in our, you know, in our second week, it's a, it's a big opportunity. So yeah, really this is excited. huge. Like when, uh, and actually it was OG that hooked that up. So I want to thank OG, you guys see him down there in the chat, He's got a a, beast. The, the slick 3d laser vamp. Um, yeah, he hooked it up. Uh, and yeah, we got some exciting stuff during that that we're going to announce. And yeah, I mean, I'm, it's just, I'm still kind of like reeling because that was my first NFT project. So to go from, from doing that in September to now, like, like working with them and like being on their, uh, their spaces and like, you know, it's just like, it's, it's, it still hasn't processed, you know? Um, so we're very excited for that. Um, we're also pleased to announce what this week's event is going to be. So we're not going to do a movie night this week. Um, I know you guys all want to do another movie, but we're going to do those soon, but we want to kind of give you an idea of like the full scope of the utility of what the, the midnight movie club is all about. So we're kind of like pulling different things of what we're going to do in the future and, uh, kind of show you guys, guys that. So we're going to do a fireside chat with an industry professional. Um, and I'm, I'm happy and honored to announce that my dear friend, producer, director, actress, uh, all around badass Molly Elfman is going to be joining us. Uh, so yeah, you guys get ready for that. I'm still waiting for her schedule, so we haven't have a date and time set, but uh, once she's available, I mean, her schedule's crazy. So I'm waiting to hear back from her on what day works. But in the meantime, check out her IMDb, watch some of her movies so you have some questions. But uh, for all you aspiring producers, she's amazing. She's gonna be, uh, got a lot of stories and advice that's just gonna be very helpful for everybody that wants to to learn a little about you know some new stuff and she's got a new movie coming out that she just directed like during the pandemic so i'm excited to talk about that and like the logistics of of shooting and film during all that um she's awesome Dude, i'm yeah. excited to sit and talk with her hey by the way crisis just showed up so we just get him on stage or get him on stage yeah yeah let's bring him up right now so because i know he's got other stuff to do so uh let's go. Let me find him. i gotta find him in the chat there he is dad action invite him up he's on the he's uh oh. he's, yeah, on the yeah but I, I clicked invite okay cool it came up Good morning. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you now. Hey, what's up, Crisis? Dude, thanks again for uh, coming on the team and being the mod and keeping an eye on all these uh, good folk, making sure that everything's civil in the in the chats. Oh, it's been awesome so far, man. The chat's been great. Everyone's been super friendly, super helpful. I'm loving what I'm seeing. 
That's great. great. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, I'm really. Uh, I think it's. I, I think it's funny that the first time we ever hosted one of these, you were the first person to jump on stage, and now you're like intimately involved in its in its creation and growth. So thank you very much. Yeah, it's amazing. Ah, it's an honor, man. Thanks for bringing me on. Seriously. Sweet. All right. Well, we'll, we'll let you get back to your kids' game. We don't want yeah. to hold you up too much. Ah, I got a few minutes. I took a break. They're they're doing a little like half timey break. They're little kids. Okay. So. Getting the orange slices oh. and everything going. Okay. Cool. Deliciousness. Uh, hey, yes. Yeah, so is there anything you, any wisdom you want to impart on all like yeah. the newcomers to NFTs and stuff? Like, what advice or any you know anything you want to share? Yeah, absolutely. Some of it's going to be probably a little bit repetitive if you were on the first spaces that we had here, or not spaces, sorry, but uh, call for stages over here. Um, but there's obviously a lot of new people to the NFT world um, coming in this chat. Um, we've seen a decent amount of growth in the past couple of days for the server. So for those who are new and unfamiliar, um, don't be afraid. I know it's a little intimidating. Um, we all started somewhere. Some of the vamps that you've seen here have been in here for a while. And some of them, the vamps were their first mint, which would mean that they've only been in NFTs for, what, four months? So it's not like they're 20-year veterans who, who, are, who are salty and know everything about everything. You know what I mean? We just... We have a short a short experience in in the space. Ask any questions. Do not feel like any question is a dumb one. We are all here to help. The goal of this really is to onboard as many people into the space as possible, be as helpful as possible, which is why it's important and we keep ranting on being as friendly as we can in the chat, being as positive as we can, picking each other up. This is a space for creativity and production. So to promote that, we just ask that everyone tries to stay as nice as possible um, and to, to be as as forthcoming as possible with, with any concerns or anything like that. Um, as far as NFTs go in general, be safe, guys. It is the Wild West, okay? So this is very new territory for many people on the internet. Um, there's going to be a lot of spam DMs you're going to get. That's why we keep having that bot that posts every couple of being like hey close your dms um obviously it's recommended so you don't have to if you don't want to but it's highly recommended um if you see any fishy links don't click them um there's a lot of scammy scummy people out there who are trying to steal your money and all that good stuff um if you have any questions about that feel free to reach out to me or anybody else um a lot of the vamps who are coming in and out of this chat are pretty familiar with all of that so even they can help you og has been a huge help i know the great app in here all the time he's been a huge help um just be very careful in the space. And other than that, explore it, you know, ha ask questions, go into other servers if you want to and see what it's like, see what the space is like. You'll find that I know on Twitter, there's some backlash on NFTs in certain places and stuff like that. And they all call us like rich, whatever they're saying, you're going to find pretty quickly. That's not true. We're just people. I'm just a guy who's at my kid's soccer game. You know what I mean? So we're just like you. Um, and we're just trying to make it out here. So I'm excited for what this team is building. Um, I'm excited for where this journey is going to take us all. And I'm excited to chat with all you guys. Awesome. I couldn't have said it better myself. And to your point, I want to say, like, you know, as you mentioned, most of us vamps, like our first NFT was in September. And this space is so new. So we're all learning along with you. Like stuff's constantly changing. Um, so, yeah, don't feel like you're the only ones that are new to stuff because there's constantly a you know, updates and, and all kinds of new tech. So yeah, we're all still trying to wrap our heads around it. But you know, some people obviously have like a good amount of experience and, and a good background. So they're there for you. They want to help you. They know that they were in the same spot you were at one point where they didn't know anything about any of this. Um, so we all can relate. So there's a lot of empathy there. Exactly, exactly. And, and luckily enough, Bill has been um, awesome enough to put a little tab in this server for people who are new to NFTs. I highly recommend reading through all of that. There's some great stuff in there. There's a lot of lingo as well that sometimes we use that may go over some people's heads. There's a whole glossary in that tab for like NFT lingo, um, things to do, things what not to do. Um, but yeah, after reading that, ask any questions and we're more than happy to help because we're all we're all new to this because the whole space is new. Um, so we're just trying to make it here. Absolutely. And I'm going to keep adding to that uh, that what are NFTs channel. There's a lot of other resources that I'm, I'm working on writing, you know, just trying to you know manage our time. But uh, and there's some links and stuff I'm going to put in there. And again, if, if you guys, you know, we want to keep everything civil, like we said. So we did create it where if anyone's being disruptive, you can uh, at the mod, you know, uh, roll in the chat so you can kind of bring it to their attention because 
you know, he's going to be here, but he's not 24 hours seven. You know, it's not a, uh, it's not a full time job for him. Obviously, he's got other things to do. So he but he will see those pings later. So if someone's being disruptive, just like, you know, kind of flag it and, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. Yeah. So okay, to touch crisis, on that crisis, when you're around, you just make me feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you That's... to hold me in your big. I don't know what you look like, but I just want you to hold me in your big arms. <laughs> I got the tequila in that coffee this morning. I just don't. I had a lot of tequila last night, but I do. I like. Look, I'm new. I'm super new. In fact, you know, if it wasn't for Bill, I'd still be out in the in the ether, like just not understanding it at all. So, um, I'm gonna go and. We're going to talk about a second about the tags, but um, I ask a lot of questions. So I just, I'm glad that you're so open and so many members of the community are are there and have give zero Fs about, you know, educating. So sorry, I was just telling, you're a hero. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. This, this is great. And this is what it's all about. Um, we just want to provide like a safe space for everybody to come, feel creative, have fun with their creativity. Um, and as, as Bill was saying before in the chat, if we can, just as a message to everybody listening, try to keep it as civil as possible. We don't want any animosity. We don't want any arguing. You know what I mean? We have the rules already set up for the server, the tab for that as well. Um, and if there's, there's certain channels designed for certain things. So go check out those channels. Um, because I know that we have like, for instance, fan art. So as much as we love seeing the fan art, if it starts going on a fan art spree and it's a chat and people can't read, it gets disruptive, just take it on over to the fan art tab. And then you have a bunch of like-minded people over there talking about it. You know what I mean? So there's a bunch of ways that we can kind of mediate and things come cool and collected in here. Let's just keep it positive and have fun with this thing, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And keep, keep on topic with, with the channels. That's why we created them. So, uh, you know, we just want to, you know, make sure everything's organized. Um, so we really, we really appreciate that. And then again, yeah, we like. I'll do it. Oh, sorry. I oh, no, was I was just gonna... yeah, go, go ahead. No, I was just going to say about that. You know, there's a lot. We eventually end up sometimes getting cut in a Matthew Lillard uh, cyclone. And uh, if you ever want to ask me a question, I will happily jump over to Ling Lillard Link's chat and like engage directly. I just if we can keep that general chat clear of like Matthew Lillard sort of fan stuff it'd be awesome i i listen i i get it it's super weird that i'm here but i i let's just pull it to the side and we can engage there cool and yeah i was just gonna remind people that uh for the new the newbies there is the um critical role channel where you can claim uh your padawan role uh to give you the icon so people know you're new and if you're someone that's more seasoned you can claim the Jedi role so that you'll have an icon that shows that you know what you're doing. So that way people can kind of find each other. Uh, and I think I was able to, I think we did that last night. We did a test where you can actually ping the Jedi role um, in the the specific channel. What was it called again? We made it last night. Uh, in the NFT help channel. And that way, you know, hopefully it's like kind of flashing a bat signal. And hopefully, uh, you know, somebody with more experience will come find and find you and answer your question. That being said, whoever is claiming the Jedi role, um, that's awesome and that you're willing to help and stuff like that. But please, if you aren't 100% sure on what kind of information you're giving the Padawans or AKA the newcomers, um, please, please, please don't give them any false information. We're trying to help as many people in the space. So only give the information you know. And if you don't know for sure the information, maybe reach out to somebody else who does. Yes, and let's keep it in the NFT help channel. Please don't go to DMs. Again, we're just trying to train everybody to be as like distrustful of your DMs as possible because I mean, nowadays all the scams are through DMs. It's basically the like Nigerian prince emails of this era. Um, so please just try to keep it in the chat and, and don't let it go into this private thing where people can kind of lure you into a, a false sense of security. Awesome. Well, Grace, is, listen, thank you so much again. Um, enjoy your kids' soccer game, and we just appreciate you being a part of this. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thank you, dude. And oh, yeah, thanks, Bob. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I didn't. I blacked out for a second, couldn't touch the push the talk button. <laughs> thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, cool. Uh, thanks. Thank you, man. All right. Um, so yeah, like I think right before uh, I'll just remind everybody before we go to Q and A um, about the uh, the Po app claim. Um, that's a twenty four hour thing, so it's gonna 
expire this afternoon. So make sure you fill that out if you were at the original screen screening. Um, and then once that is closed, I will put the uh, YouTube video from the screen screening online. Um, so look for that this afternoon. And I just want to like kind of actually before we do the q and I kind of just want to give a really, really super fast intro to some of the key lingo because I know there's a lot of people that are asking questions um, about the NFT thing, like what is a mint? What is a whitelist? Uh, so just to like clarify all of that, uh, the whitelist is the pre-sale. So when you do an NFT project, you mint an NFT, which means it's finally getting put onto the blockchain. Um, so we've created all of our in, like artwork and uh, the metadata off-chain. So when you mint it, it actually gets put on the blockchain and is recorded and is there you know, forever. So when that mint happens, we're doing it in two stages. There's a pre-sale, which will happen 24 to 48 hours before the public sale. And anyone that's on the whitelist can purchase uh, their NFT during that period. So you can wait until the gas is low and gas is basically the transaction fee. So depending how busy the network is, the fee can go up or down. Um, but you can wait until gas goes down and find a good time and then you can purchase your NFT then. Um, after the pre-sale is done, we will open it up to the public and that means anyone can come in and buy. And the reason that you wanna do the pre-sale and get on the whitelist is because, I mean, hopefully our project gets that big, but some of these projects, like the Sneaky Vamps sold out in, I forget, what was it guys, like 13 seconds? I mean, like literally the shit flies off the shelves if your project is huge. Um, so you wanna try to get that whitelist spot. That's why there's so many people coming in being like, when whitelist, how do I get on there? Um, so if you guys want to help explain to them, you know, ways to just be active in the chat for right now, we're going to offer some contests coming up. We're gonna do some art things and some other fun stuff planned. Um, so then after the NFT is minted, uh, you won't actually see which NFT is yours right away. It'll be a placeholder. It'll, just, it'll probably just be our little popcorn guy or maybe a like shadowed version of him with a question mark. Um, but it's going to be, uh, there's a period after the public sale before what's called the reveal. And that's when we switch over the metadata. And then all of a sudden everybody's artwork starts to show and you see which one you got. Um, so there's a period there too. So if people are talking about a reveal, that's what that is. It looks like Matt just got rugged. I don't know what happened. He just disappeared. Let me invite him back up. Um, so yeah, and again, if you have any questions, ask the Jedis that they're there to help. Um, so as soon as Matt comes back on, we will open up the Q and A. See, maybe I'll open it up while we're waiting for Matt to, I invited you to speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, what happened sorry, there? My, my bad. I was, I was pushing buttons. I I lost. I'm new. I just went out. And what time did you finish padlet. drinking tequila last night? Don't worry you about just it. Get home? Don't worry about it. I am a grown ass man, and sometimes <laughs> even grown ass men make mistakes. Um, All right. Sorry. Um, so let's open up this Q and A. Unless there's anything else you want to say about NFTs, real quick. Oh, I no, actually have one other thing. Well, well, yeah. I mean, we talked about it a little on chat last night. You know. I put it out on Twitter that uh, we're building this NFT community and we're really excited about it. And you know, the blowback on the Twitter space, my Twitter space was pretty intense and seeing as I still have to feed my kids with my day job. I'm just, for the record, I'm totally involved. Obviously, if you've been here at all, I'm here every day, um, but I will no longer sort of be trying to convince the entire Twitter space that NFTs are the future. So I just won't be posting about it a lot, but you can, by the way, we need following on our Twitter space. So if you can check it out on the left, there's the, the Twitter. We can find yeah, our Twitter. Official link. Yeah, that'd be great because we're, you know, we're trying to, you know, we're committed to building this community from the NFT sort of world out. Um, so I just won't be tweeting about it. Though. Yeah, they did not welcome you as, as much as they welcomed Snoop Dogg. No, it's weird. It was... it's really, it's really weird. They really hated that. I was involved in NFTs. So. Yeah, and we, we don't want you to get canceled over NFTs and not be able to make make movies. So no. um, the other thing that I uh, want to say before we start the Q&A is I've had a couple people asking questions that you know are here that, that really like the community. Um, they came in as fans of you, but they just really like hanging out. They love movies. And they were wondering, you know, hey, I'm not really in NFTs and um, I'm, it's not really my thing, but am I going to allow, be allowed to stay in the chat? I, I, don't, I don't really want to leave, but I also feel bad staying here. Um, so for all those people, like, this, the general area and all the stuff that you're seeing right now will always be open. We're always going to be in those chats. We're going to be bouncing back and forth. When you get the NFT, it's just going to open up more private channels. And a lot of the, the stuff that we're doing, like the fireside chats and, you know, some of the movie nights and stuff like that, that's all going to move into, you know, kind of behind the, the member the member wall. But uh, we're still going to be in here. Again, we have to keep an open community because we don't want to become a closed community. So all the new people that are just discovering this project after the mint, they're going to be coming into the general chat and being like, what's this project all about? So we will be active in there because we always want to bring in new members. We always want to bring people in. So 
Um, yeah, if we have a closed community that doesn't do anybody any good, and again, we want this to be open so people are going to still talk movies. So yes, that will always be there for you. Don't feel bad about being in. If you have nothing to do with NFTs, you're more than welcome and you always will be. Um, having said that, let's open up this Q&A. Uh, Matt, who do you want to go with first? Today is much more uh, manageable than the stream. Five, five stream. In, the in New Zealand. <laughs> so Eva, please come on up. Oh yeah, let's do it. Is it really that early there? Jeez. Yeah. There, and it's probably tomorrow there, right? Aren't yeah, they like a day Monday. ahead of us? It's Monday. Jeez. And invited her up. So, any minute. There she is. She's talking to us from the future. Oh my God, hello. How's my Hello name? again. It is literally 6.24 a.m. <laughs> oh God, that's brutal. It is a bit brutal, but no. Go to make sacrifices. There you go. What's up? What's your question, Eve? Oh my god, I accidentally did it. So hold on. Okay, hello. Um, my question is, um, for your the YouTube channel and stuff, are you guys gonna be like thinking of making any kind of introductory videos to NFTs and stuff? Because personally, that's the way I like to learn is you know through watching something and listening as opposed to reading. And um, I think that could be a cool thing. So I was just thinking, um, you know, are you guys going to be doing anything like that? I think uh, for us, the answer would be no, because we want to spend our time making like the actual movies. And there is already such a huge plethora of True. YouTube videos doing all this stuff. So there's already resources there. So what we're going to do is basically, and that's what that, what, it, um, what our NFTs channel is for. I'm going to be finding and kind of like vetting good videos and putting them in there. So you can kind of cycle through the junk awesome. and hopefully crisis and some of the other people, OG, like can like send some stuff our way to be like, Hey, this is a really good clear cut explanation. But yeah, we want to put most of our time and energy to giving you the utility of this project. And yeah. there's so many people offering tons of stuff out there that we're like, you know, honestly, they can do it better than us. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're, they're, they've been doing it longer. And um, yeah, so that's probably how we're going to handle a lot of that. But yeah, I'm the same way okay. where I like to do videos. So when I'm doing those articles on Medium, I always try to put, throw some videos in there as well and links to other stuff. And yeah, I, and again, that's just more for me explaining it to people like as simply as possible if they want to like, yeah. through a nice like t tutorial guide. So, but yeah, well, we're going to post some stuff for sure to help you guys out. Awesome. That's perfect. Right on. Thanks, Eva. Cool. Thank, Thank you. You, uh, you want to just go down the list? I don't know if your list is the same as mine, but Lil Lillard Link Zero? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's the same. Yeah, let's just go through it because there's only seven people, so it's not like the scream night where it was like a hundred. <laughs> By the way, the reason we're doing it early at 9 a.m. Uh, on Sunday, the coffee, and coffee talk, is because we want to allow other people in other time zones to have access, right? Because if you're on the other side of the world... If we start a film at five, hello. That's like three in the morning. So, yeah. hi, Lillard Bing. How are you? Hello. Good morning. Hello. I know the username might have been a bad omen. You think I might ask a non related question, but I do have a burning question. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay. So, I really like your little, little popcorn little dude. So, did you have any other concepts for what the Midnight Movie Club? like mascot was going to be or was that just it no actually that's funny you say that because it was supposed to be something totally different so uh, i reached out to a friend of mine uh who is an artist who i love his style like he's got the I, it's like a very unique super detailed and kind of gross style that i haven't ever really seen a lot of other people do almost reminds me of, like the early like ren and stimpy stuff um so i hit him up he's like the first person i thought of i was like oh i got it and i'm not gonna mention him because we might bring him on for a generation two or something or you know because we, we want to feature other artists and so I, I caught up with him and he's just been swamped because he started his own animation studio thing and he's, he's in New York and he's just, he's like, yeah, I'll hit you up. Like I should be free by the end of January. And I was kind of like, oh man, that's, that's like an eternity in NFT time. So I'm like, I just, I just, I think I'm just going to start drawing it because during lockdown, a, a buddy of mine, uh, Tony Kroll, shout out to you, uh, convinced me to get an iPad because it's just, he's like, yeah, it's very therapeutic just to sit here and just kind of like draw on stuff. And he was just drawing these kind of like, it almost looked like doodle man drawings. And uh, so I got it and I wanted to learn, you know, I'm like, I'm going to start doing Bob Ross paintings, but on the iPad. So I started with that, which was really satisfying, by the way, I recommend, and it's super easy. I recommend you all do it. And, uh, so, and then, yeah, and then I've actually, it's funny because then SVS popped up and they were doing art contests. So um, I started learning by submitting to the SVS art contest and I kind of like learned to draw thanks to Mig. Mig's their artist. He drew like on the Board Ape team and he drew all the SVS stuff. And so by doing that contest, I kind of like learned how to draw and like, 
get the shading down in perspective. And I'd always been drawing since a kid and, you know, I'm a big subscriber to the Pro Proco channel. Um, but I just, it just kind of like opened it up to me having the iPad. And so I started drawing this little popcorn guy that was uh, inspired by the old, you know, let's all go to the lobby video that would play at the movies. And originally I was like, oh, maybe we'll just mix it up and there'll be a popcorn one. We'll do the soda one. Like pop is what I call it, but it gets confusing when it's popcorn. Um, and then like a pretzel guy, you know, whatever, all those different things. And I was like, that's too much. Let's stick with one and we could always figure it out for generations. So yeah, originally it was going to be when I talked to Mark, I wanted to do uh, sort of like that normal, like you see a lot of other projects where it's just like the sort of mid shot profile of a character. And I wanted to create a stock character, sort of gender neutral, but have all of the uh, different roles from movie sets. So you'd have like a boom operator, a director, and just kind of have features and traits that like were from the movie industry. Um, but just in a really fun, wacky way. But again, like timeline wise, I was like, let's save that for later. Maybe we'll come back to that. That idea we will table it. Um, and I'll just draw this little um, yeah. popcorn dude. And then and then again, we don't have a name for the popcorn dude. So I think we're going to do a contest where uh, once we have the NFT mints, we'll have the members vote. Uh, people will submit their ideas and then they'll vote. And maybe we'll, you know, give the winner like a free NFT or something. But yeah, we got to come up with a name for him or her. We don't know. That's <laughs> um, so clear, by the way. That's the, the preview of the NFT. Right. It, it's 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 not only the mascot of the space, but, you know, that's going to be our NFT. There's a collection of the popcorn guy. Yeah. And so that, so people know how they work. So um, like I'm drawing you're just seeing like kind of like fully baked ones with a, a whole theme. And we're going to have like one of ones like and these aren't even some of them. Like like, for instance, you're looking at mine and I have like uh, it's inspired by they're all like homages and parodies. So this one's inspired by Friday the 13th and Jason. Um There'll be one with even more detail. We'll have like original, like super original one of ones. But for the most part, we uh, I draw it all in layers. And then you have uh, different traits. And, you know, like you see, he's got like a little machete and stuff. And um, the RoboCop inspired one has a, a little gun and everything. And and the computer, we run through a program that's going to like mix and match all of the different layers and all the different arts. So there'll be different colors, different hands, different style of popcorn, different shapes of the popcorn box. Um, the computer will basically take all the art that I drew and it's going to make... 5,555 completely unique, one-of-a-kind uh, pieces of art. And then there'll be a couple super rare one-of-ones that are hand-drawn. And we're also going to, we're getting some celebrities on board to sign some that are inspired by the characters that the popcorn guy is like wearing. Um, like obviously this, we'll have a Scream one that's signed by Matt. Um, we're still working on the list of people, so we're not going to announce anyone else. But uh, those are going to be surprises. We won't even reveal those before. Those will show up on reveal day. So some of you will see... You know, it's kind of like getting baseball cards. You don't know what it is until you buy it and open it. So uh, it's going to be really fun, though. Thank you. That's really cool. Yeah. And cute. Nice. I love the little popcorn guy. I do oh, have yeah, one quick like, thing to say. I was super nervous because I was like, is anyone going to like this? I, I'm just drawing this by myself. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, your question? Um, so I'm just so I know that you, Matt, got a li like a lot of blowback on your tweet and sometimes i feel like you're a little sad about it so i'm just saying you and bill are gonna make it this is super cool and i support you guys so don't Thank be sad you. it's you gonna so be much. okay we'll take we'll take that, it by the that way. first we'll monday it. was a dark day we're calling it black <laughs> monday it was, black it was really monday. bad but uh we, 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 we bounced I, back I, yeah i have to tell you like i really appreciate that because it, it does make you you know question whether you're doing the right thing and yeah um, but I appreciate you saying that. Thank you, Lily. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you again. Yeah, I was super worried that first day that I was going to be responsible really? for tanking Matthew Lillard's career. Uh, th how adorable was that? That was very That sweet. was amazing. <laughs> He's great. I loved it. Okay, uh, good. Let's bring up uh, Bendy Dinosaurs. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? Good time zone, everyone. Nice. Where are you at? Oh, I'm on the East Coast. <laughs> okay, cool. Right in the middle. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I, I, first, I do want to say, Crisis, thank you so much. Um, I am a complete uh, child when it comes to NFTs. I don't know what is going on. I'm trying to figure it out. I've been applying for a lot of jobs, and they're like, how many years' experience do you have with NFTs? And I'm like, a what? So I'm really appreciating this space. They're asking in years? That's crazy. I feel like they should be asking in months. That this I, one. We're so new. <laughs> I literally just found out about them. I'm like, what? Why? So thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to be an expert by the time you're done uh, here. So you're going to be getting all kinds of job offers. 
fabulous. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, but from like a filmmaking standpoint, uh, I think that's what drew me to it um, more than anything. Being like someone, I have ideas, but like I don't have money, I don't have connections, I don't have like a network. So it's just an idea of like what um, us as aspiring filmmakers are going to see in this Discord server and like what's going to be available and how we can kind of grow um, and from that standpoint. Absolutely. And you should definitely check out our white paper because we outline this in way more detail than we'll go into okay. here. And that's on our, our site. But basically, it's going to be, again, like like what we're doing with Molly this week, we're going to do fireside chats with industri industry professionals that you can then uh, ask your questions to. Um, obviously, we're going to be making our own movies where you guys are going to be voting on things and actually greenlighting films. Um, so we'll, we'll present like, you know, three to five filmmakers. They'll have either some short films of theirs or a pitch deck, parts of the script. Uh, a little intro video and then you guys whatever whatever everybody votes on um you know of the holders that's the movie we're going to green light and make so we're just basically putting that in your hands and then all throughout the process you'll be able to to vote on different aspects of and decisions that are creatively going to change the movie um but one on top of, the great of that, thing, yeah one of the yeah. great things for industry people is that we're creating night school and night school is going to be an opportunity to bring the community together and we'll bring in working professionals professionals from hollywood to sort of sit ama chats like this and you can ask them anything, like access to people or professionals. Um, yeah, will give you the opportunity to to learn, to communicate, like to to network, and also the community. Right, the idea of building a strong community around um, filmmaking and filmmakers is that you can share scripts. We can have like script writing contests. We can have, you know, film festivals. Like we can get together and celebrate um, the whole filmmaking process. Uh, and, and what one of the great things is that. You know that's the utility that we're building on top of this NFT, but the sale, the you know, the money from the sale of the NFTs will go back to the community wallet and support a lot of these efforts. So um, absolutely, and we want to have channels too where like you guys can connect and let's say you wrote a script, there'll be a channel where people can swap scripts and give notes. Uh, you can share your short films or even like rough cut edits and get notes. Again, we want to like showcase uh, the work of our community members, so we'll do little film festivals and we'll bring those people up to talk about uh, the movies and stuff. So. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff planned. Again, there's more written in the white paper. Um, but yeah, we just want to basically boost up the next generation of filmmakers. And, and we're, we're trying to figure out too, we want down the line eventually to, you know, have people from the community be able to pitch projects to be included in, in the pitch round that people will vote on. So um, Yeah, and work on the film. Like if you're, I don't know yeah. what you're doing, you're saying you're applying for stuff, but you know, the idea of like being able to work on the graphic designs, be able to work on mm -hmm. the social media team, like all of that will be, a, you know, if it yeah. makes sense in your professional and just, you know, if you're professional and, and can support the film and lift the film, then, you know, obviously you're going to have an end to um, the opportunity. Yeah. And then we're going to be, you know, looking at all the different states that have tax incentives and stuff. So if we if one of the films we do ends up being um, local, we want to bring people on to like, you know, if you're interested in art department, come on and be an art PA. If you want to do directing, like, why not shadow the director and um, kind of like, yeah, just all those sort of things. We want to give those people opportunities because. Again, starting out like living in the Midwest, like Chicago was not huge with film when I was younger and it started to get bigger, but I, I started going on sets as like a movie extra. And I think that's how Matt got started too and just getting my, my feet wet. And then, you know, here we are today. But uh, it's like, you know, you just need that first lift up and that's what we're trying to provide yeah. for people. It's actually interesting too, you guys, that uh, just so it's clear, when we mint, if we mint, God willing, we mint. Um, <laughs> I'm still nervous. Uh, if and when we meant that that money that goes to the wallet directly green lights, which makes the movie go, we will start pre-production on a movie. So we will be shooting a movie as a community. Fantastic. Teed up in the spring. Um, like yeah. it, it's, we didn't, we, we picked something early because we wanted, again, our whole thing is like, how do we provide utility? How do we, how are we more than just, you know, a, an expensive piece of art? Can we build community? Can we build opportunity? So we immediately go into pre-production on a movie that Bill's directing. Yeah, I mean, we've actually kind of been uh, already starting the pre-production stuff. Like there's there's a couple of steps we already have ready to go. So yeah, we want to shoot, shoot this movie as quick as possible and keep the momentum going. Because as you'll learn in the NFT space and uh, all my fellow vamps know, like one day in the NFT world feels like months in the real world. So if we waited too long to, to make a movie, like people would be like, what the heck's going on with this project? You know, so we want to just literally out of the gate. So once we mint and and uh, we mint out, we're going to announce what that movie is. We're keeping it under wraps for now, but we will announce that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get moving and it's going to be really exciting. Yeah. 
And by the way, all our movies, uh, we I we don't say this enough, all our movies yeah, are true. Our films. Yeah, that's why all our little popcorn dude things are, uh, you know, either horror, sci-fi, um, action, adventure, like that kind of stuff. So we're focusing strictly on that. We're, yeah. we're not doing the like deep indie drama type stuff. <laughs> A24 does that way better than we'll ever do it. But yeah, we're making fun shit. Um, well, I'm in the right space. Thank you so much. Yeah, cool. yeah no problem. Yeah. Thanks for being um, here. Yeah, and I guess if you ever need more mods or anyone to help like setting up bots or things, like I do a lot of Discord stuff, so happy to help in any way I can. Oh, amazing. Yeah, we are going to be putting out uh, a notice pretty soon for that. So I'm adding you to our, our list of people that have voiced that in the chat for sure. Awesome. It's Thank really you. Really You've never seen so many sticky notes than... <laughs> Yeah, my my little I have like a I have a diner booth in my kitchen because I always wanted a diner booth. It's just covered in neon pink sticky notes right now. Yeah, that <laughs> that's my entire wall right now. I get that. Awesome, very awesome. Kindred, you, kindred spirits. Yes. All right. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Thank awesome. you. Good luck, Chuck. Right. Good luck, Chuck. So Sweet. Why is the person under good luck, Chuck? Clarby. Why are they? Why are they darkened out? Because well, he's a cinephren. He didn't go claim the uh, the founder role yet. Uh, like each role has a different color. That's how people can distinguish. Like okay. Crisis is purple because he's uh, on the mod squad. Like we're oh, neon pink. <laughs> we got the magenta color. Good morning. Good luck, Chuck. Can you hear us? Good luck, Chuck. Uh oh, he's having bad luck with the mic. Bad luck, Chuck. Chuck. Oh, you're muted. There, you're muted. Now you're back, but now your voice doesn't work. Here, let's put him back in the chat. Let's put him We're back. We're going to put you back. Get the mic figured out. We'll bring you back up. It's like throwing a All fish right. back into the ocean. Clarby. Let's bring up Clarby. Okay. Hi. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> hi. And wait, what did you guys say I had to do to my stream was oh. like? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, just go down. Um, in the chat, like in the general section, you'll see get founder role. So we're giving out, I actually missed it. It was supposed to be for the first 500, but we were so swamped with stuff. It kind of went over that. So I think I'm gonna let it roll to a thousand. <laughs> just to, just to get a nice even number, but go down to get founder role and just claim that role. And you'll turn uh, kind of like a neon teal, like a greenish aqua green color. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got some okay, fun stuff for that role down the road. Okay, so sorry, my volume's way. really low too. Um, Okay, hear. sorry. I have to put my phone right here. Okay. Um. So I guess my if, if it's okay, I have like two small questions. Um. So my first question with it is, so I'm 17, and you know, like I don't have a job that provides a lot of money besides um, like dog sitting and stuff. So you and me both. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm going job to job here. Yeah. Um. So would investing like a small amount to an nft really be worth my while or would it just be sort of wasting my money like is there a certain amount that because i don't know how this works at all like i'm a eight year old who's trying to figure out the internet <laughs> so, first of all i want to clarify that it's not an investment i don't look at it that way this is not none of this is financial advice you're going to hear that a lot in the nft space oh, okay. because none of us are professionals so um the way and the way this works is like don't look at it as an, as an investment it's a it's a membership to the, the midnight movie club so what you're buying is a membership. So we're not promising that the value of it's going to go up um, or down. You know, like we don't know what's going to happen with it. Like we're just saying buy the membership and you're going to get the utility. We can't predict what the future is going to hold for the price of the the resale value of the NFT. But just know that like if if everything is successful and the movies do well and just people and other people want to join, they might offer you more money to buy your membership off you because they're limited to 5,555. Um, oh, so that's, that's the economics of how it works in theory but again not financial advice uh just explaining how the situation works and some of the other jedis will be able to kind of elaborate on that but yeah I, I don't look at it as like a way to make money look at it if you want the utility that's behind it then that should be your decision uh decision point clary did you say you're uh you say you were eight no <laughs> no, no she's like um, eight year old in the nft world she's like a, yeah she's 17. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, not eight. Because I was gonna say this eight-year-old's figuring out Discord easier than you. I was like, well, I know, that's <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Um, what was your second question? Yeah. Oh, my second question. You guys were sort of talking about it, but um, because I haven't read everything about it yet, I'm trying to um really inform myself. But with this um, 
membership, I guess, like what you said, um, being involved with um, the uh, like upcoming movies and stuff, would there be like, depending on where it's located, would it be like physical involvement? Like, would we be working? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what we were saying. Like, if because like, we're gonna look at other states that have tax incentives uh -huh. that help oh, okay. us make the movie and save money, which is great because then we can. The, we'll explain later in like AMAs with people like, uh, and maybe we'll bring on uh, Lillard's sister because that's what she does, um, oh. and like kind of talk about how tax incentives work. But if we're shooting in a state that's tax incentive, like if we're in, you know, um, like Atlanta is really big, um, like Washington, Washington, New Mexico, Oklahoma, New York. Um, New Orleans, like there's all these places that are offering like 30% back on whatever you spend in the state and sometimes more. Um, so if we're shooting in one of those states and you live there, like, and you're like, hey, I want to do art department or I want to do, you know, I want to, I'm, I'm kind of interested in acting. It's like, well, let's see if that actor needs like an assistant or like whatever it is. Like, we're going to try to like find ways for everyone to get involved. And if you're like, oh no, you're shooting in the States and I, I live in Australia, like, how can I help? Um, well, if you have like, if you're a graphic designer, like maybe we'll have you do some, some graphic design of stuff like, cause there's a ton of things that need to go into a movie. Like if there's movie posters on the wall, if there's, you know, um, t-shirts, all that stuff has like, it's expensive to get it cleared. Like if you try to use any brand names and stuff. So that's why a lot of times you see like generic, you know, pop cans that people are drinking and stuff like that. Um, yeah. so we would like, you know, graphic designers to like make like fake movie posters or fake band, pro like, pro like posters, stuff to put on like our characters walls and like. You know flyers that might be you know hanging up if the scene, there's a scene in the high school you know like all that stuff like needs to be created by somebody so yeah. we have this army of people that all want to get involved so i thought it'd be really cool if people get to start seeing like their artwork and stuff uh as production design like in the film so we're going to try to find as many many ways to bring people in whether it's you know we start when the movie's done we release a couple like you know various clips of footage for people and let everyone cut fan trailers so then all of a sudden now there's like 20 fan trailers floating around for the new movie that's about to come out like things like that where we want to try to involve people so you can show off your skills and also be involved in the community yeah that's sick um yeah that's great and so i'm in los angeles so if you guys are ever oh, over cool. here that'd be so cool <laughs> yeah that's where we're at <laughs> okay um, oh great okay yeah. well look and i also think that just to yes yeah, on that moment look in success and as the community grows we'll find ways and opportunities to get people together to see each other and hang out in physical space if people are interested in that so Absolutely. that sounds also, amazing yeah and we want people to connect <laughs> so like if there's multiple community members that are all in let's say like south carolina and they're like hey i'm working on this movie and then they can all get together and like work on a film together and like yeah, you, exactly. you find people that are local to us. you and you guys can create little crews and stuff and start making yeah, things you don't need us that, oh sorry <laughs> oh my god um <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's great. This whole thing is really exciting to me, so I'm really looking forward to this. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks, Harvey. Okay, thank well, you thank much. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Take it easy. You too. Uh, I'm going to bring uh, Good Luck Chuck back up because uh, I see he's, he's back. Nice. I assume it's he. I don't know. It could be uh, Good Luck. All right. Christy. There he is. Hey, good morning. Hey, what's up? Um, awesome. Good morning, guys. What are you, uh, what are you drinking? Any coffee? Yeah, coffee. And yeah, coffee. I'm rocking some tea actually. I got this uh, Sadaf uh, English breakfast. Tea. I think it's a Persian tea because uh, I was introduced to it by my friend Kaveh and Arash. So Ar Arash might be listening. If you are, thanks for the rec, dude. Awesome, awesome. Hey, uh, just quick question, real quick. So I'm new to the NFT world as well. When we and maybe I haven't done my research in the channels, but when we go to purchase the NFTs, is it? I mean, is it like not directly from this Discord? Is how do we get them? Yeah, the, yeah, we'll be posting like the minting page. It'll be on our website. The uh, specific URL we'll, we'll describe later. And uh, just to like announce it here, I think we might have said it before, but just in case we haven't, um, we're going to announce the actual like URL where you're going to mint on our Twitter. Um, so because a lot of discords have been getting hacked with these projects and what will happen is like hackers will come in. They'll take over the, the server and lock us out of like all the channels and they'll start posting links. So it's like, hey, we're minting earlier. There's a stealth mint or you've been selected to like mint early. And then people will click on these and they'll think they're buying our NFT, but they're really just sending money to some scammer. So we just decided I'm kind of taking this cue from the, the Journey Club, which is another big NFT project. And they did not post on the mint day like their link was specifically like we're posting on Twitter. So if it's not on there, like it's not from us. Um, so yeah, again, if people DM you have your DMS off, but if for some reason it slips through, um, we are never going to be doing like a secret mint, nothing stealth. Like you're not going to be selected to like mint early. It's going to be announced on Twitter. So that's again, another reason why 
Um, everyone should follow that Twitter account. I know we haven't been super active on there because it's been a little bit of a of a shitstorm. But uh, now that we're moving it away from Matt's and just to our page, I'm going to try to be more active on there. Um, so yes, that's it's going to be on a totally different website, and we'll have tutorials and everything to walk you through it. But um, we already have a tutorial up on how to make your own MetaMask wallet. So that's step one of the whole thing. Um, but again, it takes it's way quicker to actually set up your MetaMask than to read that article. So you'll see that you'll be like, oh, okay, I just read this thing. And, oh yeah, that was super simple. Um, and yeah, so if you have any okay. questions, though, I are happy to help. Yeah, it sounds awesome, man. Well, I mean, that, that was really it. I just wanted to make sure that I am able to get one as soon as they get minted or whatever. But uh, yeah, 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 I appreciate yeah. everything you guys are doing, man. Community is awesome. And uh, a lot of love in there, man. Find, how did you find the project? Out of curiosity. So, you did it. Uh, yeah, I'm new to NFTs. So my friend that is also in this uh, server, she messaged me on Facebook and she was like, hey, Matt Willard's doing a uh, watch along for Scream tonight. And so that's actually how I found everything with uh, MMC. All right. I'll oh, go. cool. Nice. Tell her she's my favorite. <laughs> a super cool <laughs> Yeah. I love it because I wouldn't have known about this otherwise. And so really cool community, man. I'm glad to be a part of it and support you guys. Oh, thanks, awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dude, thanks we're for doing the time, guys. Coffee. We're doing coffee chat every weekend because it just makes me feel happy and warm on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, I, I, I told you we should do that. I wanted to take a cue from the Sneaky Vamps because they do an AMA every Wednesday with their like community announcements. And like, I, I, the coffee coffee chat, I think, is the way to do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, hey, cool to connect. thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, Ranger. Ranger. The, so, Bill, how, so for some of the good luck, Chuck. How does he yeah. make sure that he gets access to get the NFT, right? I mean, say he's, you know, he's not on our Twitter and he's not a big Twitter pop person. Like, how does he, how does he assure a spot? Um, I mean, if he's in the chat, like, we'll, once we announce our date, then he can at least, like, know what day to be checking Twitter if he's not super active. Um, and then just keep an eye out that day. But if if he's also active in the chat and he's already whitelisted like we will announce the dates on here we're just not going to post the actual click through links and again another note on links always use the links from the official links channel um the other thing is that scammers will do is like they might like go by the url for midnight movie club but spell night the normal way or they might like swap two letters that you won't really notice because your eye kind of glosses over i'm like switching the i and the t and then you'll click through it they'll, and they'll literally clone our website and have every single thing on there um, and they're just gonna do everything they can to try to fool you into to buying a false thing. And that's, you know, they'll, they'll also start downloading our art. You'll see like, you know, if, if, if we're successful, you'll probably see um, fake collections popping up on the secondary markets too, where they, they go and they download all of our artwork and then they upload it and then they claim that they're us. And it's a whole issue. Usually there's a verified blue check mark like on Twitter, but Open Siege has been really dropping the ball with getting those to people. Um, that's why we're there's you know, not only mint on open sea though. We're hoping we can do someplace. Else. Yeah. Oh, you mean like um, we'll sell on open sea minting will be on our page, but yeah, like hopefully we're going to try to, if anyone, yeah, we're going to try to get hold of Coinbase. They're going to launch soon. That'll be a much, uh, a bigger deal. If we can get that, that'd be awesome. Um, and then look, looks rare just came out. So we'll see how that shapes up by the time we mint. It seems to be a lot of people switching over to that, but, um, just looking at gold, uh, good luck, Chuck, you have the golden ticket, which means you're on the white list, which means you'll have early access. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be good. I right, good. Uh, Meg, you're up. Ranger, sorry. Hello? Oh, Ranger, my bad, Ranger. Hi, Ranger, sorry. Yeah. Hey, okay, so basically, um, I kind of want to be an act in my future. Like, I personally, I'm working towards that in school right now. But my question for you is, during night school, will there be, like, opportunities for people to, like, un like learn more about acting agencies and stuff? For sure, without yep. a doubt, 100%. Like, that's, yeah. that's like... That's the sweet spot for us because obviously I've been a professional actor now for like 30 years. So we will impart that without a doubt. And, you know, I'll even, I'm sure at some point I'll end up doing like acting classes in some capacity. And, and, you know, I, I teach a oh, lot. Oh, that's amazing. Cause yeah. So yeah, that's for sure happening. We have the Matt Willard masterclass. Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, um, Honestly, I had I had a small idea, right? You you were talking about your um, NFT, right? The little popcorn guy. Mm -hmm. Um, I was thinking because I only just learned about NFTs myself. I was like, oh, yo, bats! I only learned about that yesterday. I was literally like, I I downloaded a bunch of apps and I was like, yo, that's cool, that's cool. And I literally found out that bats and vamps are like bats, like a cheaper version of vamps. Yeah. So uh, what projects will do sometimes is they'll launch what they call companions. So. Um... 
you know, there's like the the Board Ape Kennel Club. They released like these dogs and stuff. So the the vamps, what they did was everyone that minted a uh, a sneaky vamp was then offered a free mint of your bat companion. So it's sort of like a sub project, but it's still their project. So it's a, it's a great way to, for you to join the community um, at a lower price point because they're they're easier, they're cheaper to buy than the the actual vamps. So if you're looking to like dip a toe in and come hang out with the vamps and see what the layer is looking like, the verified layer, um, you can pick one of those up. But uh, yeah, hop over to their their Discord and you know hang in the the public layer and you know feel it out and you'll see it's like it's just as warm and welcoming as as our community. They're they're awesome. Like I highly recommend it. Okay. Well small idea for you right so you see how you have your little like popcorn kernel guy like what what's this what's 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 this called um we don't have a name yet, like, numbers. i yeah. was thinking a popcorn kernel is like a small tiny version of that so like, oh, you get just like one little kernel, kernel like a little yeah i mean everyone's been going like cute with a lot of their projects but uh yeah well we'll definitely consider that we have some ideas for um future nft stuff but we're keeping it tight-lipped for now so mum's the word Oh, that's sick. That's, that's sick. Awesome. All right, Ali. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, but honestly, yeah. great talking to you. Great Good talking time. to you guys. Hey, Thank uh, you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Hey, uh, Billy, I have a 10 o'clock hard out because I have a call with England. So. Oh, right. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, um, which one? Who do you want to pick up next then? Because we got, probably got time. Keep going out. Let's go, Meg. Go, Meg. And we'll just try to, we'll try to get through the whole list and blitz through. Okay. So let's just cap it now. Six minute warning. This is speed round, everybody. Speed round. Come on, Meg. Yeah, as we're waiting for Meg to get it up, the best thing everyone can do in terms of this community right now is to bring in exactly what happened with Good Luck Chuck. If you have friends out there that are filmmakers that like films, that are like, you know, that person that loves movie trivia and all that, bring them in, introduce them to the community and see if it's something they're into. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to go to the next person because Meg might have walked away from the computer. Okay. Um, Amanda, 516. Uh, hello. Hey, what's hello. up? Hi. Um, my question was, what got you two into NFTs? Bill. Bill Mine Bill. is a loaded question because it's kind of, I don't want to like reveal something that we're going to reveal later, but uh, I'll just say that I was scrolling through Reddit and I saw, I was just because a friend of mine, my friend Kevin, like we heard about NFTs back in March when everyone kind of started doing it. And again, I just thought it was JPEGs and I was interested in it and kind of dipped a toe with like seeing how to create one on OpenSea. But um, it wasn't until around September when my friend Kevin got, got a, I think he got like a, what was it? The Panda Dynasty. He's like, I, I went in and bought one of those pandas. I was like, what? And so I started looking through Reddit at their NFT channel and I saw the vamps and there's a specific, like it just spoke to me and I started looking and I was like, oh wow, they're creating like a video game. Like what is, I didn't know that there was more than just the pictures to this. So when I saw all the utility they were offering, I was like, there's something special about this. Like they're doing, a, you know, this is, then they were talking about the sandbox and metaverse, like before it was like a buzzword, like way before um, the Zucks like started, you know, hijacking that term. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like got drawn to them and I thought it was a sign. So I was like, I'm going to try to get in on one of these and uh, I did the art contest. I got on their whitelist, and I was able to mint, and I've been a member ever since. And it's been awesome. And, and Bill came to me with this idea a month ago, and I don't know, six, five, four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Something like I that. Did, yeah. I want to. I want to go make movies, and I want it to be you know decentralized movie studio, and we're just going to continue to make movies. And I was like, yes, I'm in. Yeah, and I I, I kind of came up with the idea during like when I was in the the vamp time, and then all of a sudden. Uh, I, so I was working on the white paper and like the idea of it in the background, just kind of workshopping. And then eventually I presented it to Matt when I felt it was like fleshed out and ready with it. But my, I would tell most friends about it when I was working on it and I would just see their eyes gloss over like, he's just like, what are you talking about? Okay, cool. Have fun with your little pictures. And I was like, all right, never mind. You don't get it. But yeah, that's how, that's how it came about. Hey, uh, thank you so much for your question, Amanda. Yeah, thank we got to keep moving. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Meg is, Meg pop back up. So let's go to Meg. Cosmic okay. acid. We're going to, you're not going to make it, buddy. <laughs> Hi, you so sorry about that. I don't know what happened the first time. All good. It's okay, all good. Um, so I'm just kind of wondering about the actual project. Um, you mentioned about how in the States you'd kind of like find independent artists and stuff. Uh -huh. Um, well, as someone who lives in the UK, I was kind of wondering, like, how would you go about that? Because I'm currently studying fashion design. So if anything, if you ever kind of needed something like that, I'd be more than happy to, you know. Oh, yeah, totally. Help. And we'll probably set up a channel at some point, too, because a lot of projects have things uh, 
like channels where it's like if you're if you're building your own project and you're looking for an artist like people can post their artwork and if you're looking to start your own project and you're looking for like a dev to work on the technical side they'll have channels for that so it's almost like connecting people um so that's one way to go about it and, and yeah i think when we get to the point where we're doing like a generation two hopefully if, i mean that's looking ahead of assuming this generation one we get enough people um we're gonna probably ask the the members of like hey who are some artists that you guys want to see that we can reach out to and and we'll probably have maybe everybody vote on which artist we want to reach out to and try to hire for the you know generation two i think that's a cool way to do it because we do want to showcase other artists you know yeah definitely that sounds really cool and i just also like to say that i think is so cool how you're kind of like making new opportunities just based off of this project that you thought up i think it's really just just really cool yeah oh, cool thank you thank you for being awesome. a part of it i mean we're yeah it's nothing unless people show up so we appreciate it <laughs> yeah totally cool thank you so much yeah, thanks you. have a good day all right see you mommy bringing you up and again if matt has to go i'll stay on for a few minutes to answer the last few questions so cosmic acid if you did have a question that i could answer there you go okay feel free to stick around I, hey guys. I just wanted him to yeah hey what's happening um, not much. Okay, so I have like a serious, serious question. Um, I didn't realize that NFTs were going to be as expensive as they are. So what can people like me that probably won't be able to get it right off the bat? Um, what can we do to help support you guys? Because I'm really invested in this. And you you're totally invested. And we love that. Yeah. So just so I mean, look, when you look at uh, like something open sea, like the amount of money that that you see an NFT selling for isn't what it mints for. So we don't know what our minting price is, but it's not going to be the price that you see on OpenSea because you're early adopter and you're on the whitelist. You'll have an ability to buy it at that reduced price. So even if that's still like something that's not in your, if you're capable of doing at this point, totally get it, totally understand. This channel will remain open no matter what. Yeah, like, and, we're, we're, and we can yeah. kind of say our price range, right, Matt, of like what we're talking like. Thinking. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're so thinking about like around ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no, no, no. We're looking at like probably around four hundred bucks, and that's like you know you're a lifetime member as long as you hold it. And again, if you decide later you're like, um, this isn't for me, you can always sell it on the secondary market. But I will say that a lot of times with projects, after the project reveals, a lot of people that are you know more just flippers that are looking to turn them around really quick, if they buy one, they'll buy a bunch that and like they'll try to hold on to the rare ones, and then ones that are more common, they'll just kind of dump at a lower price so if you can't afford even the mint price like i it will probably drop right after the reveal on OpenSea. that's not a guarantee but from what i've like watched and observed that tends to happen so okay it's, well if i if i do floor. be able to do it then i i want a damn rare one i want an individual uh, <laughs> <laughs> well we don't by the way we don't even know what we get right so we're gonna take yeah no it's all random we so yeah, the contract the contract will pull a couple off for us to like to hold for giveaways and stuff, but uh, it's gonna be completely random. Like no one's gonna know what they are because it's it, yeah, it just it makes a randomized folder. So um, again, it's a grab bag. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't wasting y'all's time or anything yeah, like that. No, I, no, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah we want like people to come in. I literally I'm just log on, mom. Yeah, I, we log on and I see you every day. It makes me happy. I mean, there's the, I have never been somebody that was active on um, on Discord at all. I didn't really get, get it, but now I'm like, dude, I log on all the time to say hi to people. Like, I'm we're developing relationships. It's a very strange thing, right? So you aren't wasting anyone's time. Yeah, you it's crazy. That none of these, like, a lot of these people didn't know each other last week. And now they do. It's nuts. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's I appreciate it. It's a nice little safe you. space to learn new stuff and to to make new friends, and and I'm having a really good time doing it. Great. All right, we got to see him about a Matt. He's got. Right, he's got. Okay, I'll give, give me one second. Hey, you guys, I got to bounce. Uh, much love, to everyone. I will talk to you all later. Bill, thank you for holding down the fort. Right. Um, hey, dude. Yeah, call me after your call, and we'll we'll catch up. Yeah, for sure. Have a good one, Matt. Bye. Right, thanks, love. Yo. Well, it's it's just me and you, Sierra. Mommy, any other questions? Um, just mainly that I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to, it kind of bummed me out when you said that like yeah. only people that got the NFTs were going to be able to do certain things. And so I was like, <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. So there'll be opportunities. And again, just like watch, you know, the, the secondary market. Cause a lot of time and, and you know, prices fluctuate. And if, if, you know, again, if someone's like, you know, trying to get, you know, their money liquid, uh, they'll probably sell for a lower price. Um, and again, we don't know what that's going to be, but uh, it's called sweeping the floor. So if you see like low price 
uh, NFTs, a lot of times people will just go in and scoop those up. Um, so yeah, you can always keep an eye on the floor price. But yeah, most likely, and I would say even like start doing some research, like look up some other projects that are going to be minting like this month and just watch their their mint process and their open sea. And you can kind of learn and see how projects react and, and how price fluctuates and stuff. So yeah, again, you might be able to get it on a discount after after the reveal. Right on. I'll um I'll see what I can do, and I'm actually starting to save up money now. So, um I'll see cool. what I can do. And we'll, we'll, be, we'll be doing giveaways too. Like there'll be contests and stuff to get to win free NFTs. So, um definitely definitely jump on those too. Like I, I know I want to do an art contest because uh, that the sneaky vamps one was so good to me. So we'll probably pull popcorn, dude. I'll, I'll post a black and white like coloring book one, and we'll have you guys uh, get creative and you can print it out and do it in crayon if you want. There's you don't have to be an artist to, like uh, to enjoy the contest. So. We're gonna do some stuff like that. It's gonna be a good time. So, stick around. Right on. And, that's yeah. Just really be active. Cool. And hang out. Yeah, and you're always welcome. And uh, you're always welcome to hang out in the general chat. And we're gonna be in in both even after the launch and stuff. So. And I'm learning more so about not, Discord you're chat. Welcome here. You said that it was a lot like IRC chat. So if it is, then I know a lot about modding IRC chat. So that might be something that I go for okay. later. Yes, absolutely. Cool. And we can even work something out too, where we uh we hook you up with uh an nft as payment or something uh, we'll figure it out we'll, we'll make we're gonna make it work that works awesome all right yeah grab somebody else up here i'm taking up the whole stage so grab somebody else that has a good question all right cool thanks all right have a good day bye you too. all right mark usd2 marcus not mark us i'm so used to like seeing ethan usd <laughs> mark usd2 is okay yeah. as well you're, you're good bill Okay, I'm good. All right, cool. Uh, sorry, Matt Lillard's not here. Uh, you just got me, but uh, hopefully I can answer your questions. <laughs> Wait, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Not now. I heard you earlier. You there? Hello? Okay, now I can hear you. Uh, you're kind of in and out. All right, I'm going to send you back to the audience, figure out the mic situation. I'm going to bring up Cosmic Acid. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Good to see you again. I just have like one quick question. Yeah, I'll give you uh, one quick answer. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to turn you up really quick because you're kind of quiet on my end. Oh, yeah, do it. All right. So what is the like, ultimate goal for the film? And what do you do? You guys like, want to be financially successful? Or do you just like want to get the word out about the project through it? Or um, uh, just get more people involved? We just want to get the word of the project out. I mean, like in terms of like financially successful, do you mean like the actual finished movies or the minting process or like what in what? Like regard to the actual film oh yeah the, well I mean, obviously you always want every film to be successful because the way we're structuring it like is we're basically and if you look in the white paper we have a, a graphic of it it's easier to look at than me explaining it but uh what's called a waterfall is how when when a movie gets sold and this again will be we'll have a producer come in and, and really explain this all out or even a sales rep um, but when a movie gets sold to let's say netflix money comes in from that movie and normally like an investor who let's say let's say we're shooting a movie for one million dollars um that investor puts in a million dollars but when you sell it um the money that starts coming in gets divided up before it starts you know getting it gets distributed at multiple stages so first you're gonna have to pay your sales reps or who are the people that maybe like they're almost like agents to like an actor or a director they're the ones that connect the movie people to say netflix or amazon so they're going to take a percentage like they don't work for money they work like when they make a sale so that's good you don't pay them until they produce something like you know an actual contract for you in a deal um so they'll take a percentage so that'll go out you know of, off of that deal they'll maybe take like five two and a half to five percent from from the box office of that and then it goes down to um any distribution costs like um making movie trailers posters uh making film prints if you're going to the, the the theater which film prints are now dcps which are encoded hard drives um from there it then trickles down to uh overhead for the production company of the film because they got to pay for the attorney to do the financials all of those things and then the next step is the investor who put in the million dollars 
they're going to get their million dollars back plus 20%. That's why investors do it because they want to get those gains. We all know they got to get their bag too. Um, and then after that, all the profits from the movie go to um, the back end points. People might have heard that term. So the back end points are uh, divided into 100%. So each point is a percent. And 50% of those go to the filmmakers. So actors get points, directors, writers. That's like where they get the residual checks. So 50% of those will go to the filmmakers. So we're always re supporting the people who are making each film. And then the other 50% go to the investor. And that's, again, where they're making their bag. Um, in our model, what makes us different is... There's no investor. There's just our community. So we're funded by the community wallet. So all the times that normally go money goes back to the investor, it's going back into the community wallet. So when we get that first uh, payment, it'll be 100% of whatever our budget is, plus 20% will go back to the community wallet. And then when we do the, the back end points, the community will have 50% back end points on all of the film residuals. So that means that's more money that's going into the, the wallet to then Further down the line, it'll it'll fund future movies that we can then vote on. So we want to keep this thing rolling. This is should be a machine that like is going back into the community and it's pushing the thing forward. And hopefully, as as the movies are successful, uh, more money will go to the community wallet, which means we can either do more movies or we can start raising the budgets on our movies and, and start to get bigger and bigger. And in terms of uh, what we want to do with the films, in the perfect world, we're hoping like with our connections, um, we can try to find a home. Uh, someone that actually gets NFTs, like let's say a Netflix or an Amazon or Shutter, somebody who wants to partner with us, and they'll say, "Hey, any movies the Midnight Movie Club does, we'll distribute." And then we we sign like a deal with them, so we're automatically like we already know we're going to get distribution because the biggest thing with indie movies is like, are we going to get distributed? Is someone gonna is our movie going to have enough appeal where people are going to want to find it? So if this project gets big enough, like our goals and hopes is that people are like all wanting to, to kind of be the ones that put out our movies and have an exclusive deal versus making deals on a one by one basis. So that's kind of our plan and, and structure. And I think that we have enough um, connections in the industry between me and Matt to hopefully make that happen. But again, it's we, we talked to Matt's publicist and she's going to come on and help us once there's something to have a story on because right now there's no story. But like if this thing, if we build up a big community and we actually uh, have the Point where we can mint all of this and we raise the money to make these movies all of a sudden that publisher is gonna be able to go to work and like try to get us articles in the hollywood reporter variety deadline like people will start to pick it up once there's a story to tell right now it's just two guys on discord <laughs> hanging out with uh, a lot of dreams and a lot of energy so that's like the plan so just to give you like a just to show our hand of like what we're doing behind the scenes right now um that's a big part of it i hope that answered the question and didn't get too boring okay hopefully there wasn't yeah, too, in, too much inside baseball there <laughs> no, it's fine. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm kind of in the same position as a serial mommy. And so I heard about, like, you are also kind of planning giveaways. Would I have to set up, like, oh, like, I think it's, like, called a wallet for that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can you can wait until like you win, but um, in order to receive and hold an NFT, it has to go to a wallet. So you can set up a MetaMask, or um, I highly recommend getting like a ledger, like a hard wallet, just for an added level of security. And we have like you know some guides and stuff that explain the differences of those and how to set them up. But uh, yeah, to actually get the NFT and put it somewhere, you'll have to have like a wallet. But again, you can wait wait until you win a contest to set it all up. But it's, it's again, it's a really easy process. It requires none of your own personal information or anything. So, um, but just make sure you don't ever give out your secret recovery phrase and print out a physical copy or do something where it's like recorded. Cause if you know, you don't want to put it in like a screenshot and put it in your Dropbox. Cause if your Dropbox is, gets hacked or your G drive or your Gmail, like, and someone gets that, they have access to like all of your stuff. So kind of, you know, protect it like um, as if it was your bank account. Cause essentially it is your digital bank account. Okay. Thank you. Cool. No problem. Have a All good right. day. Have a great rest of your morning. Will do. All right. I'm going to bring Mark or Marcus back up. I didn't get clear. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Last time I couldn't hear you. We have it. Mark USD. I've, I've been called a lot of things that have been called that, but that's okay. Okay. What is it? Not, what is it actually? Marcus D? Marcus. Yeah. And then D last name too. So. Okay. Cool. That's I knew it was one or the other, but uh, yeah, I've just been so in the weeds with USD, E, BTC. <laughs> I, mean, I just see the world differently now. It's like looking into the matrix and seeing just numbers. No, uh, yeah, as soon as I joined the NFT world, I've been Googling, Define, all, there's so much lingo, but it's fun. So my question yeah. though, and to, first off, thank you, uh, Bill, and then you can tell Matthew and, and Crisis, I don't know his name, but thank you as well, because this has been super informative and it's really helped like validate 
I really believe this project. It's really, it's really fun to follow you guys. And I'm, and I'm saying that, right. I'm not an aspiring actor or filmmaker. I'm just a high school teacher who loves to watch movies with his wife. Right. And I believe it. I think this is going to be a super oh, cool awesome. project. Um, cool. And with that being said, cool. I'm that having, was the reason I'm we wanted having... to do this was like, we wanted people, yeah, we wanted people that didn't have any connections to the film world to have access and, and, and be a part and take part in what, and then like, you know, for you, like to be able to go watch something at home with your wife or tell your students like, hey, I like kind of like worked on that movie. It's pretty cool, huh? Go check it out. It's on Netflix. Like that's the ultimate oh, goal. Oh, they really. love that stuff. They love it. Even if I, you know, it's just one yeah. little vote of me doing a vote of something that happens in the movie. It's going to give me a little bit more like oomph to watch it as well as tell my students it's fun stuff. So I think this Absolutely. project is awesome. And that's why listening to you guys has been, it's been really exciting. Um, with that being oh, said, and nice. I hope this question is not like, you know, too hard or anything like that, but I have no, a, little bit of, of gotta... a little bit of cognitive dissonance because I believe in NFTs. I do. I think they're the future. Um, but, you know, there's the environmental side and like, is there any talk in the NFT space of like, are we going to be able to make this a little bit more sustainable for the environment? I don't know if you know that or like, because with my research, it's just one, so hard because I believe in it, but I hate the environmental yeah. like damage part. I'm in the exact same boat as you. Um, and that, that's one of my big things is um, we also really want to make all of our productions as green as possible. So using like biodiesel, reusable. I mean, there's so much waste in the film industry. Like, dude, behind the scenes, it's crazy. But like, um, there's a lot of resources. There's a place that I love going to out here in LA that uh, recycles movie sets and stuff. So we're going to be doing that. In regards to the blockchain, again, like this technology is so new and they're always innovating it like but there's already things like the layer two stuff and I, i'm gonna get a little too into the lingo here but the layer two stuff like immutable x is 99 percent more efficient than ethereum and the one person like for instance the vv app i don't know if you guys have, have dabbled in the nfts on the yeah. vv app um that is 99 percent efficient and the one percent that's not they offset with a carbon uh what is it the uh the carbon credit and um, so those were like like that, like, you know, um, Solana, all these other ones that are like, quote unquote, Ethereum killers that are like, you know, lower gas fees, much more environmentally friendly. Um, Ethereum 2 is being developed. So when that launches, it's going to basically adopt all of those things. And it's, it's kind of the switching over from proof of work to proof of stake. I'll let you do some research on that stuff because uh, it's still like something I'm trying to like wrap my head around. Um, but it's going to get much more environmentally friendly. Um, and they're supposed to launch that stuff very soon. So again, to me, it's it's a. Uh, it's so in its infancy. And the way that I always sort of describe it to people is the automobile was invented in 1886. It wasn't until the seventies that we got the catalytic converter like required by law. And it wasn't until like recently that we're now seeing like electric cars coming out. And I mean, that's like, you know, a long period of time, but you know, no one was saying like, Oh, well, we should have just stopped inventing the car because it was like terrible for the environment right away. It's like, it's, you got to let it evolve. You got to let it grow. Um, so, I mean, NFTs and the blockchain, those have only been around for like a couple of years. And you know how tech goes these days. Like everything is evolving so much faster. I mean, just look at the 90s when like first dial-up started and it just like was completely ridiculous and to where we are today. So the, I think the, the amount that they're going to move fast and make this stuff environmentally friendly is going to be very, very quick. And especially with all the social pressure of that, I think the social pressure is good. I know people are like, oh, forget them. NFTs are more important. And it's like, no, no, no. People need to be speaking up about this because the more voices we hear and the louder that we are, that's going to pressure all the people that are building the tech of the blockchain and NFTs to work faster to make it more environmentally friendly. So I think that that stuff is very important um, from both sides. And again, we shouldn't just be yelling at each other saying, oh, it's bad for the environment. No, it's it's good for tech. It's, it's like we need to have a conversation. Everyone needs to just quiet down, talk to each other and start to understand both sides and like let's work together to figure it out. But that that's my opinion. I don't know what the rest of the NFT world is, but um yeah i don't know so i hope that helps clarify no thank stuff. you that that really resonates with me because like i said i'm a big believer in this nft world and the, in the community behind it and everything that really it stands for other than the you know the environmental thing but i do agree with you that i think it's going to improve and i also think it's the future and i can't just go live in a treehouse in the middle of the woods i gotta adapt so i'm um, yeah, really exactly. excited to follow, your, follow along with your guys's project and see where it goes and to also be i'm going to do some a little bit more research too on the environmental side but thank you so much bill Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for coming up and asking me great questions. I really wanted to cover that stuff. So thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. All right. I'm going to bring up Xenia T. You guys have the same. What is this? What is this profile? Pic? Oh, it's a, yeah. Look. <laughs> What's that from? You guys, I, I, was, I feel like it's Groundhog Day. I, like you were just up here. Go. <laughs> Do you got a question? I think I just have you really look. Oh yeah. Wait, can you hear me? 
Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay. So, um, the day of movie night, uh, I think I claimed the uh, the Pope claim, but I'm not 100 percent sure because I was reading up on it, and it said that I had to do the uh the Google Doc. Yeah. Yeah. Doc. Yeah. But how? How? So I just so I would have to um fill it out to claim it, or did I already claim it? Uh, we claim the role. The role is giving you. I mean, this whole thing got a little uh muddy because the Poe app people like. Normally, they would just send me a link that I could have posted during the movie night um, and easily just let everyone that was there go click this and claim it like instantly. But for some reason, instead, they like and I was talking with them and they they just didn't approve the project in time to send that over. So they sent me like literally a spreadsheet of individual URLs. So like I have like 300 something URLs for the people that were there that were trying to I'm just, just trying to figure out a way to like manage it. Uh, okay. And actually somebody from the community. Uh, is helping me out. Thank you, Amy, um, with with organizing all that. So basically, you fill out the Google Doc. We're going to collect everybody's names, and then we're going to put out another spreadsheet that will have uh, your name and your claim URL. And uh, all that we ask is that you please only claim yours. Don't be a dick. Don't click anyone else's link because that just makes my job take longer, and it takes away from me working on stuff that's you know ahead for everybody else and stuff that's in the pipeline and I just you know we have limited resources so we don't want to be spending time trying to, to sort through that um, when we could be working on bringing you guys more utility and more events so um, that will come out soon so just yeah fill out that google doc and then we're going to post another google spreadsheet with, with your link on there so that'll be the claim um, and when you go to that page i'll do a little tutorial for it too it's super simple you click through the link it'll have a little bar where you can copy and paste your wallet address in Paste your wallet, click claim, and then all of a sudden it'll pop up in your wallet and you'll, you'll be good to go. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Oh, awesome, man. Really quick, what is that profile picture? Because you and Mark uh, have the same thing. Are you Marcus? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a little penguin with a book. I, or I think it's a penguin, but, <laughs> but it's cute. Is that, so, yeah. is, that or is, that a, is that a NFT project or what is that? No, I don't know. It's just like a, an image that they have on, uh, on Discord. Okay, cool. All right, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay, Have a good thank day. you. Thank Bye. you too. All right, Rancid, you coming up? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I was, I was, I was like um, cutting a pomelo for like thirty minutes, waiting for my turn. But uh, here I am at last. Um, <laughs> thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Sorry that Matthew Lloyd left, but uh, you got me. No, it's it's fine. It's absolutely best. I love this place. This community has been very accepting. But um, as as a like as a, a student, because I'm in university right now, but I'm also like a an artist as a, a side um hustle, as you would say. Uh, totally. It's not really a question. It's not really a question because uh, I've been discovering NFTs for like multiple days now, and I've seen like the collections and everything, and I've been also interested in maybe starting one of my own because oh, I yeah. thought it was really cool and. Uh, and interesting, and I was just um, coming into the VC basically to just say that uh, I was always like open to help for art and everything. And I've seen in the chat right now, everyone's talking about that, but like emotes for the server and everything for banners oh, cool. and and such. Um, yeah, I do commissions as a side work. So I just wanted to say that like, um, I, even though I live in Quebec, Canada, it's pretty far from LA. Uh, no, no, you're all good. That's uh, the great thing about this whole yeah. thing is we're, we are global. Mm -hmm. Someday, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to offer. Work, so. mm -hmm. no, I, that's just, I just wanted to offer. I just wanted to offer because uh, since you've been talking like since earlier about like you know making uh, I don't know like posters and everything and such, so I was just like, oh, I'm gonna slip in there and just <laughs> and just yeah, slip no, my card yeah. like a Patrick Bateman, just like give it to <laughs> just give it to people just in case, you know. That's so yeah, really that's nice. that's why I came in the front. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you for the nice, uh, fancy embossed card, uh, Patrick. <laughs> and uh, um, no, but yes, uh, definitely stick around. Yeah, and we'll have we'll be posting stuff, especially when the movie is going to production of like what needs the art department has. So stick around for that. And then I also recommend um, checking out Hashlips's uh, Discord. Um, Hashlips is a, a a dev from South Africa. He posts all these amazing videos on how to code smart contracts and stuff. But in his Discord, he has a channel. Um, for artists and then also for uh, devs. So if people are starting a project but they don't have an artist, they're gonna like post like, hey, we're looking for this. Like this is the kind of art I wanna do. And you can go, hey, I know how to draw that stuff. Um, so it kind of connects mm -hmm. people. And then you can also go on his channel to learn how to do um, the art generation. So if you wanna practice and like, okay, I'm gonna draw up a little, you know, temp MNFT and then I'm gonna draw little traits and stuff and then run it through his program, um, which again, it, it, it's a little daunting because it's like, uh, 
it's a coding program and you use visual source, but I played around with it. I have no like coding experience other than like websites. And I was like, oh, okay, I can follow along to these videos. And um, it was pretty cool. So definitely check out uh, Hashlips, um, his Discord yeah. and YouTube channel for sure. But uh, yeah, stick around. We're gonna have a lot of cool art contests and uh, yeah, we'll definitely uh, definitely be doing some stuff like that. So you'll, you're in the right place. That sounds epic. I'm always in chat, always like staying there. Just I just yeah, come yeah, back every good, time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's good, that's good. Awesome. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna bring up the next person. Thank you for coming up. No, thank you. All right, Insomniac. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? Good, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, just, I was wanting to ask, uh, I was wanting to ask more about the uh, the club. Um, so yeah. what you're wanting to do with the movies, um, are you, is there like a certain genre that you're wanting to focus extensively on or is it going to be like a multi-genre approach? Like, um, I like horror, I like sci-fi, I like action, I like all of those kind of, of um, movies. Um, and I don't really have any filmmaking experience. I'm an engineering person, not a, a, a film person, but I love film and cinema culture. I've always been a big movie guy. But I will say, um, if you ever need like someone to do like research on like non uh, non fictional stuff, or if you ever look at doing documentaries in the future, I can, um, is that is that something that you might be doing in the future as documentaries? Uh, we're st we're strictly um, sticking with genre movies, um, so we're just gonna be doing like uh, horror, sci fi, action, adventure. Um, but definitely like talk to people in the chat. You can connect with folks and stuff. And, you know, again, like people are always looking for research in even those projects as well. So, um, yeah, just come hang out and, you know, connect with people, but yeah, we're not going to be doing any documentary stuff. We're not going to be doing like the indie dramas, art house type movies. It's just going to be, we were, we're trying to make movies that are strictly just like popcorn movies you go to. And that's kind of why, you know, a little popcorn dude, uh, popcorn movies that you just go to and enjoy, but that are original and stuff. Cause there's so many things going through the Hollywood machine right now that just like feel derivative. Like you just, it's like, it's again, it's very similar to the NFT space where one movie does well and you see like 20 derivatives and it's like one NFT project pops off and now there's like a bunch of copycats. So we're trying to make stuff that's uh, original and just fun to watch and, and stuff that you can actually enjoy and not go, okay, well, I just wasted an hour and a half of my time. Although most movies today aren't, aren't an hour and a half. Everybody's like two hours plus, which drives me nuts. We're, that's one of my other attendants is like, I want this to be like hour and a half movies, like if possible, because yeah, they're just taking too much time these days. All righty. Uh, well, thank you for answering my question. I look forward to being a good member in this community. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Ranger, coming back up. Hello, hello. You there, Ranger? Or was that an accidental hand raise? I'll move you to the audience. All right, last, last caller, frat boy Lance. Come on up. You're uh, still muted. Hi. Hello. So I was wondering, for like these movies that or projects I'll be working on, would any of them be like an animation type? Would we do animations? Uh, I think we're like animation is just a whole other ball of worms. Is that the saying? I don't know. Um, it's it, that the whole process is uh, it's a very very expensive, which we're not looking to make movies at that level. Um, so probably, I don't think, it doesn't look like that's probably something that we're going to do, but that doesn't mean animators aren't welcome. Again, like if you have animated shorts and stuff, feel free to, to send them in and, um, submit them so people can watch your stuff. Like maybe we'll even figure out when we do our movie nights, we'll, we'll try to like screen like an animated movie, kind of like how Pixar does beforehand. So if you have something you've done, that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, we're not going to dip a toe in that cause that's a whole other sub genre of the industry. We'll bring in animators for sure. Like I have a lot of friends that, uh, you know, I have a friend that was like the visual effects lead on like, you know, working on Lego movies. He's worked at um, uh, Lucasfilms and DreamWorks and stuff, like bringing people on that, like that into to interview and stuff. But we're not going to actually make those those films. All right. That's Sorry my question. That. All right. Cool. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you and have a good day. You too. 
All right, everybody. Well, uh, I think that concludes Coffee Talk. Uh, very first one. Thank you all for being here. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Uh, stay tuned for information on the fireside chat with Molly Elfman and the details for the Sneaky Vamp Spaces Talk uh, on Thursday. Uh, we're excited to see you guys over there as well. And yeah, that's it. Everyone have a good day and enjoy your coffee. Or if you're going to bed, uh, have a good evening. Later.